Hi everyone, it's Maya and it has been a couple of months, like three months since I sat down and filmed. My last video was September 10th, but that was a pre-filmed video. I did not film it recently when I posted that, but here we are. My hair is re-dyed, but it's over a month grown out now, but it is a little bit lighter. And let's just talk about the elephant in the room. So get ready with me. It's going to be a super quick get ready with me. It's Friday night and I don't really have any plans. I am just filming a video for Donovan after this. Like, if you guys don't know, I used to have an ASMR channel. Deleted it because the creeps that were on there. I might do another one but not really be super consistent with it. I don't know. I have to like figure out my microphone settings. I filmed a video last night with my microphone and it was super grainy and you could not really hear me at all. So that was really annoying, but you know, you have to practice and stuff before you get it 100% right, but I'm not sure if I will be even posting ASMR videos. And if I would, it would just be here and there, and I would probably do them on this channel, because I used to have a separate channel, but I don't think I would make a whole separate channel for that, just unless it was something that I actually enjoyed doing like a lot, then I would. But for now, I think it'd be cool to do it every few months. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Some of you follow me on Instagram and TikTok and may have seen some of my tweets or tweets but like my posts or anything and it might have been a little alarming because I was very sad and um, I also have a, not a close friends but I do have like a friends only post on TikTok that I posted that I went on a Tinder date and a lot of people that's obviously when the truth came out but yeah me and Donovan broke up for a month we are back together now so I could talk about it and not be like emotional over it but we did take a break all of September and through the very beginning of October and we are back together now and it has been honestly as much as it kind of sucked in the first few weeks and stuff because I was just a mess I was not posting anywhere I was not doing my makeup I called out of work for like three days like it was it was a lot I think that us coming back together now and had going had went through the breakup we have came out literally so much stronger in a way I didn't even know was possible. Like, never in a million years did I think we'd be at this point where, like, everything that I've been asking for, everything that he's been asking for, like, we're both just completely different people now with each other and we treat each other so obviously the same but different. Like, we've been together almost eight years when you are with someone for so long. You can fall into some habits, you know, it's good not to fall into the same habits all the time because then things might get boring or like you take each other for granted. Like I'm not going to go into details on why we broke up and all of that. There's really no reason to put that on the internet. Yeah, we did and I was posting thirst traps all over Instagram and TikTok if you guys saw or noticed or anything, but I feel like that's always like the most obvious reason or like it's it's like when you just know if the girl is posting a bunch of thirst traps i don't know i was going crazy on there yeah like it was a very very like rough month apart but the whole time we were apart we were texting the entire time and seeing each other here and there pretty much we were still hanging out but we just weren't dating we didn't have a label but we were still hanging out with each other i'm not going to go into too many details about like 
tinder and stuff but i did download it and this that's like the main reason why i'm bringing it up to begin with like with the breakup i wouldn't have even brought it up at all but i was on tinder and he was too and we both knew that and i went on to i saw two different people one of them was absolute hell the other one was great but it's whatever you know donovan's my person and i knew that going into it so it was kind of stupid for me to even go on tinder knowing that i wasn't even gonna do anything serious with anybody and i felt kind of bad leading people on so like i did make it obvious that i was like just got out of an eight-year relationship i have all this baggage i don't know what i want like i would i literally made that so clear that way if anyone like talked to me and stuff they already knew but long story short the first guy that i seen i seen him three different times it was a really good experience but it wasn't smart because feelings were getting involved and like um he was younger than me but we bonded over tiktok because he's famous on tiktok for streaming and i mean i'm not famous on tiktok but we just bonded over that aspect but yeah, like we we bonded, and he's also he was also a Scorpio, so like that was really interesting because I've never met a guy Scorpio before. Um, but yeah, that was really fun while it lasted. But we mutually decided to stop because it's like, where was this going? It was either going to end up in a relationship, which I did not want because honestly, like I wasn't seeing him as just a distraction from Donovan, but. I kind of was like not intentionally like that wasn't my goal to like see this dude just as a distraction but that's kind of what it ended up being and he knew that too and like it I didn't really want to like lead someone on I feel like knowing that me and Donovan were literally still talking the entire time and I was literally just doing it so I would not care about our breakup as much and i know some people like were no one online but some people were questioning why i had even went on tinder to begin with if me and donovan were together for so long and i was in love with him how could i have moved on so quickly and it's not was not moving on like donovan was still we were still seeing each other you know we just were taking a break pretty much like when I don't know if you guys know this donovan and me like were each other's first like first loves and stuff so we and we've been together since i was in high school we just never knew what adult life was without each other like we have literally been by each other's sides like since before we were 18 so like at the end of the day it it's, was me and him's relationship and like as much as it was confusing for a little while i don't regret us breaking up really just because it really taught me a lot about myself and opened my eyes to how i guess my mindsets are very toxic <laughs> like i was just very very insecure all the time and like it just was not healthy and now i'm in a better place where i see myself like i hold myself to this really high standard now and I know what I'm worth, and I know what I have, and I don't feel like I have any competition with him and anyone else or anything like that. So it was like better because now I don't have to be like insecure all the time, if that makes sense. And also him, he treats me so much like he literally treats me like a princess, gives me compliments every two seconds and very affectionate and very sweet and obsessed with me <laughs> like i mean it's always been like that but like now it's just like the reassurance is there a hundred percent and like it's just better for the two of us we both are learning how to communicate with each other better and all of that and yeah like it's just made everything so much better damn it's only been 12 minutes and i am almost done i like the natural looks i said in my last video i think I can remember that far ago but natural looks make me feel my most pretty like when we broke up 
I will admit that I was definitely in denial and like was chasing after him pretty much and then towards the end of the breakup I was like I'm over this like I'm ready to be single and then it was him chasing after me <laughs> so it, it was like a funny like roles reversed it's always funny in relationships how like the girls act in the beginning and then how the guys act later like it's always flip-flop for some reason but if it wasn't for our Colorado trip I don't know if you guys know I went to Colorado I did not vlog anything I just decided to keep everything to myself pretty much um, just because it was a very confusing time because I wanted like we weren't together yet but we were pretty much acting like a couple the entire trip we had an Airbnb with my sister my brother and my sister's girlfriend me and Donovan had the whole basement to ourselves so it was like our own little apartment down there and we were acting like a straight up couple the entire time I just didn't want to post nothing because like I was technically single and like it was I didn't want people because like I did match with people on tinder who knew me from school and or may have known that me and Donovan were together and I didn't want them to think that either of us were cheating on each other so that's like the main reason why I'm even making this video not even sure if anyone who I was talking to would even watch this but we weren't cheating like we were broken up that's always like scary and confusing like if you see a couple that didn't announce a breakup and you're like are they together are they not so and i didn't want to publicly say it anywhere really and make it this big thing until it was like either one way or the other because we like i said we were broken up but we still went on this whole vacation together and we still kept in contact the entire time yeah, that was weird i matched with this dude from that i've had a crush on since fifth grade we didn't talk or anything like i did not go there at all so i thought that was really funny because i'm just like the dude i had a crush on this entire time that like low-key bullied me in sixth grade when i asked him to sign my yearbook and he looked at me up and down and turned away after we came back from colorado like the whole trip was amazing when we came back was kind of like the point where we knew that we wanted to get back together just because it felt so natural again and like all the issues and stuff like there was like no issues at all and it was really great got back together shortly after that but I think I forgot to mention that weird Tinder date story. I deleted it on TikTok. I might tell a full story time because it's literally a whole story. But um, long story short, just to wrap up this video, um, I ghosted the dude. Like we went on the date, but I like left in the middle of it and never came back. Oh, also I got tickets to see my favorite band Oh, I also, before even, I did see Black Veil Brides in the beginning of September. Donovan also came with me. Or not the beginning of September, the end of September. Donovan came with, even though we weren't together yet. <laughs> we went to that show together. And Black Veil Brides, I've been a fan since fifth grade. So like that, that was my first time seeing them live. Freaking amazing. Oh. And then I also became a new fan of VV he was the lead singer of him that band and he went solo or whatever and he performed and he's like what 46 or 47 and something about his presence on the stage captivated me like he was like a freaking angel demon i don't know like you know when someone's presence just catches you but you don't know why it was very very strange but his music was good his voice was amazing and I'm a new fan of his, so that's fun. But I got VIP tickets to see Beauty School Dropout. I saw them last year on Halloween and met Coley, the lead singer. Um, and I love him, like, I'm obsessed with him. But I got VIP tickets to see them and then later in November. And I'm gonna meet them again. And also, hopefully, get front 
freaking real. I would die if he's saying to me, oh, I would scream. So my life has been up and down, sad and happy. Like I saw my favorite band. I'm seeing my other favorite band in less than a month. Um, I found a new band that I liked. Lots of just music related stuff. Um, my hair is different. Um, me and Donovan are better than ever. Birthday is around the corner, corner, November 19th. I'm turning 20 freaking five. Gross, I know. I got these fake Bottega dupes on Amazon after listening to Tana and Brooke's podcast. And Brooke said that she got these on Amazon and they are really heavy and like good quality. And they look just like the real thing. And yeah, like my life right now is better than ever. I got a raise at work after being there for less than a year. Been there since February. And I got a little raise. I did not expect that. So that was fun. Yeah, my life. Like, yeah, September sucked. But honestly, like, this month of October has been pretty amazing, to be honest. And I can't wait for November and December. And just, yeah, I don't know. My hair is still in the process of drying, so it doesn't look the cutest. But I'm wearing this really cute dress. And yeah, I just feel so cute right now. I feel so like expensive. And yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell my energy. Well, if you didn't see my TikToks from the beginning of September when I was just like, you know. And now I'm just, I feel like the best, hottest, most confident, happiest version of myself right now. And it's only going to keep getting better from here. So yeah just if you're going through something bad right now and i know like all my issues kind of like fix themselves but they wouldn't have if it wasn't from journaling i literally journaled every single freaking day all day wrote everything down and when i was tired of writing i would say it into my voice memo and it would transcribe itself on my notes app on my phone so if you don't feel like writing because your hand will cramp either type it on your freaking computer or voice memo that crap or film yourself and you can rewatch it and it on um, and like also praying reading the bible if you're catholic at all um or christian but i found jesus as well like it was always in my life but never like it is now and i'm just a brand new person and i feel so much at peace with just everything so yeah i am going to get back on track with filming it really makes me happy to sit down and do my makeup regardless if it's basic or super cute but yeah thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel if you don't already follow me on tiktok because i'm way more active on there and yeah i will see you guys next time bye